Hi, thanks so much for checking out Expat Empire's Expat Tools. My name is David McNeil, I'm the founder of Expat Empire. I'm really excited to take you through these different tools in this video today. So here what you'll see is the page, uh, the homepage tools.expatempire.com. Of course it might change over time, maybe we'll add some more tools or change the design, but hopefully it gives you a sense in this video of how to use each of these tools. So we have countries where you can explore countries, visas to research visas. We have taxes to help you produce your taxes through finding tax programs in different countries. And then we also have remote work uh, to help you find remote work through freelancer marketplaces and platforms. So let's start with the countries. So explore countries, get started. Of course, you can access anything here, including an FAQ as well. Um, so here you'll be able to look through and find your perfect country that matches what you're looking for. I would say, uh, you know, on most of these, you can start with the region filter if you want to. These are all different filters, but all of the information is here. You can do view more and see more of the countries. Uh, but um, I think the filters are really important on these main pages. So here you can do Americas, which is North America, Latin America, South America, uh, Europe, and Oceania. And then you can also search for a country here, of course, but in terms of further filters, allows for dual citizenship because that's an important filter for a lot of people as try to decide where to move to next. Has English as an official language, so that's helpful for people who um, speak English well and don't want to necessarily have to worry about learning another language. Uh, and then is in the top 50% of top expat destination rankings. So this is uh, one of the rankings that we have in the details that you'll see shortly for each of these countries. So if you want to be in the top 50% of that ranking, then you can click yes on that. So let's just try some of these. We do Europe, so you'll see that already this updates and filters for Europe, allows for dual citizenship, yes. Has English, yes, and in the top 50%. Unfortunately, we don't have yes for all of those, but well, we put no here. So you can see Portugal and Czechia here for um, that, you know matching these different criteria. So you can turn them off by clicking those. And then instead, if you just want to get Czechia here, you can just type it in. So all of these you can click on to learn more there on the button or on the item itself. And you'll see all of this information here. As I mentioned, top expat destinations, uh, that's one of the metrics. And so the top 50% or of these 52, so the top 26, uh, if it's 26 or less uh, as one being the best, then they'll show up using that filter. So. Here you can see more information about um, you know, the country. I won't go through all of this. It just has a lot of information that hopefully will help you to figure out if this is a place that you want to move to. Um, and you'll see in a lot of these for the rankings out of how many countries at the top um, and then what the actual ranking is. So you can see if it's considered a good ranking and not so good ranking and so forth. So go through that. Uh, probably not too much more to share here. Um, this is, these social security totalization agreements, double taxation agreement are specific to being with the United States. So if you're coming from a different country, might not be as relevant. That's about that. So throughout, of course, if you want to, uh, you know, work with us, especially, you know, trying to get to this country, for example, if you decide on Czechia, then you can click this and go to the Expat Empire website or here up in the top right as well. Um, and just to note, all of this information, you know, do not rely on this for any tax or legal help. Uh, do not, you know, assume that it's updated. As of this point, this information is updated as recently as September 2022, as of the making of this video. So anyway, uh, that's disclaimers pretty much on every other page. And you can get more links down here at the bottom as well. Um, but let's head back to country page. So let's go to the visa tools and here you can see all of the different types of visas that you might be able to apply for in that country. And again, we have all of the regions on top, even more regions than on the countries page, which at this point the countries has about 20 countries listed there. So that's why it's a lot more comprehensive here for visas and for taxes coming up next as well. And here again, you'll see uh, all of these different types of visas here. So we could look for Europe and we could look for typing into search something or actually do the country drop down here. So this is the list of all the countries. So Lithuania, great. And then you can also filter, probably most importantly, by the different visa type. So 
passive income visa is basically a visa you can get through passive income, usually from property, from you know real estate, from um, trademarks or you know other types of um, yeah, just generally passive income. Also, social security, for example, if you're a retiree. So um, you know, it can be different things in here. May or may not include remote work, but here digital nomad visa is definitely for remote work and people who want to do that from another country. Golden Visa tends to be the um, programs that allow people to uh, invest in bonds or different programs at a country level or into property, for example, to be able to qualify for residence or citizenship. Then you have investor visas, and these are more focused on being able to um, invest in a company, for example, or to, you know, we'll start it. if you want to start a company, actually, you can do the entrepreneur visa. And then self-employed work visas are for people who want to be freelancers, for example, um, self-employed workers inside of that country. Then we have unique work visa. The reason we call it unique work visa is because most countries are going to have a work visa, but these are some of the ones that are a bit more differentiated, a bit more interesting, perhaps, that you might not know about if you're interested in working in a country. We don't cover all the different types of work visas, but this is, these are just a few that uh, stand out. And it can also include job seeker visas if you don't have a job there yet. Here for the skills visa, this is for people who have specific skills that are in high demand in that country. And then we have a study visa for people who want to study in that country as students. And then citizenship by descent is not actually a visa, but for people who want to get citizenship because they have um, you know, parents, grandparents, sometimes even great grandparents from that specific country. And if they can prove that through the lineage, then can get citizenship. Um, so, you know, here again, search for a country, search for what you want. And then let's just look at, for example, this entrepreneur visa. So this is the startup visa and, you know, there's general requirements, how much the financial requirements are, if there are any listed, some details and additional notes. So hopefully that's pretty helpful. And here, uh, you know, this digital nomad visa, for example, what the requirements are. So each one of these just gives some information. Hopefully it's helpful for you to figure out which of these visas would help you get to the country that you want to live in. Next, if you look into taxes. So here are some different tax reduction opportunities or tax programs in, that are offered by foreign countries, particularly for foreigners that move there or their countries that only have a territorial tax system. And so they only tax, for example, on income generated within the country, as opposed to what a lot of foreigners going there to do would be to uh, generate income in the United States, for example, while living in that country. And so locally, they wouldn't tax you on that. So there's a lot of information here about these different tax programs. You can do the region again, uh, specific country, search for what you want, or here, just the tax type between personal taxes, which could be for any person living in that country. It could be for foreigners. It could be for employees, researchers, uh, CEOs and executives. Uh, so that's about personal taxes and then corporate taxes for countries that have lower, uh, low to no uh, corporate tax rates if you want to incorporate in that country. So you can get some more information there. So here for Bulgaria, for example, flat tax rate for individuals of 10%. Um, um, then corporations, you know, Bahamas. So no income tax, corporate tax, value tax, or wealth tax, so on and so forth. So you can get more information on that through the tax tool. And then we have remote work. So here are a list of different freelance marketplaces that people can use to find opportunities to do remote work, make an income online, and live where they want to, whether that's in the same country or, of course, moving abroad and becoming a digital nomad or actually living in a foreign country through the digital nomad visas or passive income visas that we discussed. So here you can see all of the different potential platforms that we have these uh, different, well, platforms broken down into. So general freelancers is the one where it just kind of covers everything. Some of these you've probably heard of, for example, Fiverr and Upwork and so on. But if you want to get more specific into coaches, designers, IT, there's a num number of different ones for IT here, for example. And so if we want to go into any of these to learn more, you can see the services sold in the platform, the requirements, the earning potential, fees, and how it works, and then a link to the platform that you can follow. So 
that's essentially how this whole tool works. You can get more information on our data sources and everything else in our FAQ. Thank you so much for checking out this tool. We really hope that you're going to enjoy it, and we look forward to hearing your feedback. Thanks again. We wish you all the best and safe travels.